Hello, I'm Jenny Parker. In this video, I'll show you how to resize a photo using Paint. Paint is an application that comes with Microsoft Windows, and if you just go to the Start Accessories, you'll find Paint there. You'll find that many web applications such as Weebly, Yola, etc., won't accept a really large file size, and it's better to resize your photos to much smaller sizes so that they're appropriate for web use. First you need to open the Paint program, so if you go down to the Start button in the bottom left, click on Start, select All Programs, and then um, select Accessories, and inside the Accessories folder you should find the program called Paint. Paint will open in a new window that looks like this. And what you need to do then is find the image that you want to resize. So go to File, Open, navigate to where you save the image on your computer, click on the image and then click on the Open button. Okay, so yes, it's too big, it's opened up and it's taken up most of the screen, but how do you find out how big it is? To do this, click on the Image menu, go down to Attributes, and you'll see the attributes box open up and it tells us that this image is 500 pixels wide by 635 pixels high. So, and it tells you here that the resolution 180 by 180 is dots by inch. Okay, so that's um, 125,000 bytes. Um, and we want to reduce the size of this image so it's not 500 wide, that's quite big, 500 wide, we probably want it about 100 wide. So note, do not use the attributes though to change the width and height because all it will do is change the size of the canvas and chop off your pictures so you'll just end up with 100 by 100 in the top left hand corner of your picture, you won't actually resize it. Okay, so to resize it, Go back to Image, uh, the Image menu, and click on Stretch Skew. Okay, it would be nice if they had the word resize, but they didn't. <laughs> They've got it Stretch slash Skew. So when you click on that, you'll get the little Stretch Skew box open up. And if we remember, my picture was 500 by 635, and I want it to be about 100. Um, width. So that's about a fifth of the original size. So at the moment the stretch skew is showing you that it's at 100% and if I want it to be about a fifth that's um, 100 divided by 5 so I type in 20% into the horizontal and vertical and if you're not sure what these percentages are you can just play around with them so you could put in 50% and get it down to half and have a look at it and if that's no good you can come back into skew and um, stretch and take it down by 25% uh, another 50% and that will give you 25% so that would be looking fairly good by then I would think Okay, now make sure that you do both the horizontal and vertical so that you don't stretch your image and make yourself too skinny or too fat. And there you go, that's the larger image that we saw earlier, resized down to 100 by 100, which is quite a good size for a photo on a web. Okay, don't forget to save it. Um, go to the File menu, Save. And what I usually do so that I can keep my original in case I want to print it is I rename it or I put it in a special folder um, called Web um, Images so that I know that they're the resized images, they're the smaller version. And that way you can find them easily.